Hi everyone, welcome to PUBG Mobile's Step Forward Launch. Hello, I'm Ray. Welcome everyone. A while ago, we launched the fourth anniversary themed game mode. Did everyone have fun? Thank you for your continued love and support. In this new year, we'll continue to challenge ourselves and step forward to provide you with more exciting and compelling content. Next, we'll reveal PUBG Mobile's plans for this year. Let's go. Yeah. Ray, where do you think this is? This looks like Livic, but something seems different. Exactly, because it's the updated Livic map which will be released in PUBG Mobile 2.0 in early May. Let me show you around. Hold tight. Whoa! After nearly 22 months of testing, tweaking, and polishing, Livic is finally ready to be officially launched. So what are the differences between the official version and beta version, you may be asking? At PUBG Mobile's exclusive 2x2 two two size map, Livic matches are short, fast-paced, and action-packed. The official version of Livic retains most of the elements from the beta version while updating several themed areas, adds a new all-terrain vehicle, and introduces new weapon acquisition methods and interactables. Allow me to walk you through the many features. New themed areas. In the official version, we've updated several themed areas for players to enjoy and explore. At the same time, the distinct architecture and layout of these areas will shape different battle tactics. Players must take advantage of the terrain and adopt different strategies and tactics to increase the chance of victory. Midstein. First of all, we overhauled Midstein. The mix of buildings interspersed with roads and alleyways create a complex urban environment. Here, suppressive fire at vantage points and close-range alleyways will be the focus. Blomster. Blomster has been updated on the map. Wide roads split the area into several sections. Finding the perfect vantage point will be the make or break factor for this area. The newly constructed soccer pitch in Blomster also gives residents a great place for leisurely activities. Spectacular soccer games are held here every day. Come and show off your skills. Logistics Center. The original lumber yard has been upgraded to the new Logistics Center. Spacious warehouses and container yards ensure the steady supply of goods into Livic. This spacious zone is densely packed with plenty of cover. Players that are able to move fast around tight corners will dominate this area. Iceborg. The new Iceborg rises from a snow-covered plain. A tall church stands solemnly amid loosely aligned buildings. I think this is the perfect place to play hide and seek. New Vehicle. Are you geared up and ready to take on these new areas? Despite the small map size, there is still some distance between areas. Never fear, in the official map, we'll be introducing a new all-terrain UTV. Compared to the monster truck, the UTV is more compact, which allows it to not only traverse mountains and hills, but also zip through urban roads and alleyways. The versatility of this vehicle is immeasurable. What's more, it can carry up to four passengers. Be sure to explore Livic with your friends once it officially releases. New ways to acquire weapons. Besides new ways of getting around, we've also added new ways of obtaining weapons in the official version. The Livic exclusive XT firearms bring more diversity to players' playstyles. In the beta version, the XT firearms were obtained from crates and airdrops. These methods weren't guaranteed. In the official version, the XT firearms have been added to supply shops in Livic. Some firearms can be upgraded to their XT variant by purchasing the XT upgrade crate from the supply shop. New Map Features Advanced Supply Zone Some players may feel that even though XT firearms can now be purchased in shops, that there's still the pressure to obtain enough tokens. We've added a new way of quickly collecting resources in the new official version. Of course, there is a trade-off to getting high-level resources. Players will have to compete with others in Advanced Supply Zones. After entering a map, an advanced supply zone will randomly appear near the flight path. These zones will be rich in supplies, allowing players to quickly prepare for the match ahead. These zones will attract other players, so skirmishes are unavoidable. If you are confident in your gunslinging skills, I urge you to take the risk. Besides the advanced supply zone, other features that cater to different player styles have been added to the official map. 
treasure hunt. Although players can prepare more quickly in the advanced supply zone, let's not forget that a plethora of crates are peppered throughout Livek. To help players locate these crates, we've added a treasure map to the official version. Players can use the map to mark crates on the minimap. Soccer Challenge I'm sure you'll stop to admire the soccer pitch when passing through Blomster. Just like the hot springs which can recover energy, the soccer pitch isn't only for show. Players can participate in the scoring challenge and show off their skills. They might just win rewards in the process. High Flying Vehicles If playing soccer is a fun urban activity, then there should also be a fun rural activity. Besides the previously mentioned treasure hunt, we've also introduced vehicle ramps for all the thrill seekers out there. Hit a ramp at high speed to launch into places you can't normally reach on foot and acquire exclusive activity rewards. Zipline What about high flying without a vehicle? Try out ziplines. Traverse the map quickly by using ziplines. Berry Hunt If you're tired of all the excitement, slow down and enjoy the surroundings. If you look carefully, you might find edible berries that can restore energy. That wraps up my introduction to the official Livic map. I'm sure that the new map will be full of surprises and add to your gaming experience. See you in May for PUBG Mobile 2.0. Look forward to the official version of Livic. How are you feeling, Ray? Step Forward is more than just an updated Livic map, as we're always pursuing the best gaming experience possible for all players. In Classic Mode, we've also upgraded the overall experience from game mechanics, UI, basic controls, systems, and more. Let's take a look. New Map Mechanism, Emergency Pickup. In the upcoming version 2.0 release in May, we will add a new Emergency Pickup Map Mechanism to Orangle and Miramar in both Ranked and Unranked mode. The Emergency Pickup is an item that helps players escape the Blue Zone and reach the Play Zone faster. When players are far enough away from the play zone, they can deploy the emergency pickup in an open area. The emergency pickup will generate a hot air balloon, which will inflate and summon a rescue plane to save the player. When the player taps the plane, it will carry the player to the middle of the play zone. In addition to being used to move to the play zone, the emergency pickup has many other strategic applications. However, even while they are in the air, players will continue to take damage from the blue zone. Royale Arena – Assault Sandhawk In version 1.9, we expanded the map section for Arena Mode by adding classic Battle Royale maps to the Arena, so that players can get used to the intense close-range firefights in the final play zone in Battle Royale modes. In version 2.0, an Arena version of Sandhawk will be added. We'll be adding many Arena areas in Sandhawk so that players can get ready for the final battle in different parts of Sandhawk. Other basic control improvements In addition to adding new map mechanics, we've also made many control-related improvements. Haptic System We'll launch a haptic feedback feature to give players real-time feedback for various actions, which will give players an even more immersive experience of the game. The haptic feedback will be used with weapons, vehicles, character statuses, sound visualization, and more. When players shoot, the device will trigger haptic feedback to reflect the recoil of the weapon. When players are driving a vehicle, its contact with the ground will be conveyed to players via haptics. When players run, jump, or get hit, haptics will clearly reflect the change in player status. The device will also vibrate when new footsteps, gunshot, or vehicle sound markers appear on the minimap. In addition to providing you more quality and fun content, we also hope to introduce you to a fair, safe, and inclusive gaming environment. Since the launch of the game, we've been committed to combating cheaters, ensuring that our players get to enjoy the fairest PUBG mobile gaming experience has always been a goal of ours. In 2021, we revolutionized many Banpan security system features to crack down on cheating in many ways. Now, in 2022, the Banpan security system will receive another major upgrade, and Banpan Security System 2.0 will be launching soon. Yes, you heard that right! In the upcoming PUBG Mobile version 2.0 to be released in May, Banpan 2.0 will also be made officially available to all players. Banpan 2.0 has many new and cutting-edge security features that will ensure a fair playing field for each match. Today, we'll uncover the mystery surrounding Banpan Security System 2.0, so let's see what new updates there are. 
In BanPan 2.0, we provide better, smarter, and faster anti-cheating measures to all PUBG Mobile players on three major fronts, new anti-cheat features, match reviews, and player reporting. First up are the new anti-cheating features. BanPan Security System 2.0 is equipped with the latest cutting-edge anti-cheat technology, the Fog of War Anti-Cheat System. The Fog of War Anti-Cheat System is able to thoroughly combat X-ray vision and other methods of cheating by cutting them off from the source. Are you curious as to why the Fog of War Anti-Cheat System is so effective? That's because of the unique way that this system operates. In a normal match, players' positions, movements, battle data, and other game behavior are all sent to the server. The server will then process all the player interactions and send the synced data back to their devices. It's through this method that players are able to have multiplayer interactions and battle one another. However, this method also presented a problem. Since all information is sent back to player devices, by hacking local clients, some cheating software was able to retrieve the match information of all players and, by using this data, produce the X-ray vision cheat. But now with the Fog of War anti-cheat system, players' in-game view can be intelligently identified. By taking into account the map's buildings and terrain, the server will only send data of each player's visible range back to their local device, while info outside the player's in-game visual range will not be synced locally. Since players will not receive out-of-range information even if cheating software is used, it won't be able to retrieve the positional data of other players. They will be obscured by the Fog of War system and won't be able to see anything. In previous versions, the Fog of War system was launched in a limited capacity for testing to ensure that the feature had a high accuracy rate and low impact on actual gameplay. In BanPan 2.0, it'll be gradually integrated into the main classic mode to ensure a fair gaming environment for all players. In addition, we've also upgraded the BanPan system's AI by building various machine learning modules. It can detect a wide scope of suspicious player behavior and impose penalties accordingly. If a suspicious player is detected, they'll first be isolated to ensure that other normal players are not affected. Further analysis will then be carried out to ensure that accurate assessments and penalties are given to these players. The new AI will greatly improve the accuracy and coverage of cheat detection and safeguard the gaming experience for all players. For match reviews, we've added a new Eagle review system and authority will be given to some senior investigators. They can monitor suspicious players in real time to give more accurate assessments on cheating during a match, work together with us to ensure a fair gaming experience for everyone. Finally, we've improved the UI and overall process for reporting cheaters and checking report feedback. It's now easier to report cheaters than ever before, and report feedback is updated quickly and efficiently. We believe that BanPan 2.0 will vastly improve the player experience by cracking down hard on cheaters and upholding a fair gaming environment for all. Apart from the new implementations to Classic Mode and the security system, we've also been striving to provide more interesting and fun crossover content for players, and introduce more fresh elements into the world of PUBG Mobile. Next, we'll reveal the upcoming major collaborations this year. In fact, besides our development team, our players and creators have also been a crucial part of the PUBG mobile ecosystem. Because of everyone's remarkable creations, there's more exciting, diverse, and rich PUBG mobile content within the game and community. Since the launch of Topia Design Project in 2021, we've held more than eight global creation competitions and implemented more than 30 items designed by in-game players, but I'm sure everyone's craving for more. Therefore, to prepare a bigger stage to showcase the creative talents of our players around the world, we'll also reveal our new upgrade plan to you guys. What is the four-year strong PUBG Mobile? A top-level mobile battle royale released in over 200 countries? A phenomenal IP? A global social hub? Maybe it's all of these, but surely there's still more to go for PUBG Mobile. 
PUBG Mobile is now aiming to be a versatile game that incorporates and caters to everything. And a key step to achieving this is the Topia Design Project, PDP. For the new PDP, we plan to introduce an urban city block for players worldwide. We hope creative minds will collide and bring forth even greater content. Perhaps new characters to cosplay as, or new comics. Or maybe lots of creative people of different industries will all create things for the game. The official announcement is coming soon, so we'll conclude with a preview video. Everyone, please look forward to it. Well, that's about all the main content we've got to announce for now. We'll continue to work hard and step forward together by continuing to implement optimizations and upgrades to bring you more interesting and exciting surprises. So please look forward to it. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Winner, winner, chicken dinner.